everyone, and welcome back to Las Vegas, Nevada. We're live from the show floor here at AWS reInvent on the Cube. My name is Savannah Peterson, joined by my VIP co-host John Furrier. John, what's your hot take? Uh, we got wall-to-wall -wall coverage, day three of the Cube. <laughs> show's popping. Another day tomorrow. How many interviews have we done so far? I think we're over 100, I think. <laughs> yeah, right we might be pushing 100. We've had a really fantastic lineup of guests on theCUBE so far. We are in, in the meat of the sandwich right now. We've got a full lineup of programming all day long and tomorrow. We are lucky to be joined by two fantastic gentlemen on our next segment. Brad, who's a familiar face. We just got to see you in that last one. Thank you for being here. You still doing good? Still good. Still okay, good. great. Still but nothing's changed in the last 14 no, minutes. No, we're would've good. Would have been tragic. <laughs> and welcome Mark, the CEO of CloudSaver. Mark, how are you doing this morning? I'm doing great, thanks so much. How's the show going for you? It's going amazing. The turnout's just fantastic. It's record turnouts here. It's been lots of activity. It's, a, it's great to be part of. So I suspect most people know about AMD, but Mark, I'm going to let you give us just a little intro to CloudSaver so the audience is Yeah, prepped. absolutely. So at CloudSaver, we help companies manage their cloud spend. And the way that we do it is a little bit unique. Uh, most people try and solve cloud cost management just through a software-only solution, but we have a different perspective. There's so many complexities and nuances to managing your cloud spend that we don't think that software is enough. So our solution is a full managed service. So we combine our own proprietary technology with the full service delivery team. So that we come in and provide project management, uh, cloud engineering, FinOps analysts, and we come in and basically do all the cost optimization for the company. And so it's been a, a fantastic solution for us. It's something that's really resonated well within our customer base. I love your slogan, clean up the cloud <laughs> with the Cloud Saver Tag Manager. That's right. So yesterday in the keynote, Adam Slesky said, hey, if you want to tighten your belt, come to the cloud. So big focus right now on right sizing. That's right. I won't say repatriation, because you know, that's not kind of happening, but like people are looking at it, like they're not going to, it's not the glory days where you leave all your lights on in your house and you go to bed, you don't worry about the electricity bill. Now people are like, okay, what am I doing? Why am I doing it? A lot more policy, a lot mm -hmm. more focus. What are you guys seeing as the low hanging fruit, best practices? the use cases that people are implementing right now. Yeah, if, if you think about where things are at now from a cloud cost management perspective, there's a lot of frustration in the marketplace because everybody sees their cost continually going up. And what typically happens is, they'll say, okay, we need to figure out what's going on with this cost and figure out where we can make, make some changes. And so they go out and get a cost visibility tool, and then they're a little bit disappointed because all that visibility tool is completely dependent upon properly tagging your resources. So what a lot of people don't understand is that a lot of their, their pain that they're experiencing, the root cause is actually they've got a data problem which is why we built an entire solution to help companies clean up their cloud, clean up their tags. It really is a foundational piece to help them understand how to manage their cost. I, I data, just, back in the data problem again. I, I, shocking, right? <laughs> Not a thing we've heard on the show. Not a thing we've heard on the show at all. I mean, I think with, with tags, it, it matters more than people realize, sure. and it can get very messy very quick. I know that this partnership is relatively new. Yeah. Six months, you told us before the show. Brad, what does this partnership mean for AMD customers? Yeah, it's critical. Uh, they, have, they have a fantastic approach to this, kind of a full service approach to, to cost optimization, and compute optimization. And AMD, we're very extremely focused on providing the most cost efficient, most performance, and most energy efficient products on the market. And you know, as Adam talked about, come to the cloud to tighten your belt. I'll follow up, when you come to the cloud, your choice matters. Right, your choice matters on what you use and what the downstream impact and cost is, and it also matters in uh, sustainability and other, other factors with our products. You know, yesterday, awesome. yesterday Zia's Curvella, one of our analysts on theCUBE, he's has his own independent shop. We were talking about this focus, and he actually made a comment I want to get your both reaction to. He said, spend more in the cloud, save more. Meaning there are ways to spend more in the cloud and save more at the same time. Right. It's not just cut and eliminate, it's Right side. I don't know what the right word no, is. No, I, guys... I think what you're saying is, is that there are areas where you need to spend more so you can be more efficient and, and, and get yeah. value that way, but there's also plenty of areas where you're spending money unnecessarily. Either you have resources that, that nobody's using, let's find those and pull them to the front and center and turn them off, right? Or if you've over-provisioned certain areas, let's pull those back. So I think having the right balance of, of where you spend your money to get the value makes total sense. Yeah. I like that holistic approach too. I like that you're not just looking at one thing. I mean, people, you're kind of, I'm thinking of you as like the McKinsey or like the dream team that just comes in, tidies everything up, makes sure that people are being, getting that total cost optimization. 
it's it's exciting. So who, I, I, I imagine, I mean, obviously the entire organization benefits, but who benefits most? What types of roles? Who's using you? Right, so, uh, you know, Cloud cost management really benefits uh, the entire organization, especially when, when times get tougher and everybody's looking to tighten their belt with costs. Uh, you know, hey, every time we say that, I'm like conscious <laughs> of my abdomen. We're in Vegas, there's great food. Yeah. And we got, <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot, Adam. Thanks a lot. <laughs> no, but it really does benefit everybody across the organization. And mm. it, it also helps people to uh, keep cost management kind of front and center, right? No, no company allows people to have a complete blank check to go out there for infrastructure. And it's a way to make sure you've got proper checks and balances in place so that you're, you're, you're responsibly managing your IT organization. Yeah, and going back to the spend comment, spend more to, you know, to, to save money. You know, look, we're going to be facing a, you know, a very difficult situation in 23. I think there's going to be a lot, of, a lot of headwinds for a lot of companies. And the way to look at this, it's, it's if you can provide yourself additional operating capital to work, there's other, there's other aspects to, to working with the business. Time to market, right? You're, you're talking about addressing your, your top line. There's other ways to use applications and the services from AWS to help enable your business to grow even faster in 23, right? So 23 is a time to build, not necessarily a time to, to hang back and hopefully, you know, hope everything turns out okay. Yeah, we got We got We can't go over it, we can't go under it, we got to go through it. And, gotta, and we're going to build our way through it. No, I think it's, yeah, it's so important. What, so, as the partnership grows, What's next for you two companies? Brad, I'll go to you first. Yeah, sure, you know, we're very excited to partner with Cloud. They have a fantastic company, they have a great team, and uh, you know, for us, it's uh, AMD is entering into the, the, the partnership space of this now, so now we've got a great position with AWS, we love their products, and now we're going to try to uh, enable as many partners as we can in some specific areas, and for us, cost optimization is priority number one. So you'll see a lot of uh, programs that come out in 23 around this area. We're going to dedicate a lot of sales resources to help as many enterprise customers as we can, working with our, our, co our close partners like CloudSaver. So nice ecosystem developing for you guys. Absolutely, absolutely. And you know, AMD's they're still yeah. fairly new in the cloud space, right? And this is a journey that takes a long time, and this is the next leg in our growth in the environment. Well, certainly the trend yeah. is more, more horsepower, more under the hood, more capabilities of customers, oh, that's coming. workloads. You start to see the specialized instances. You can see what's happening, and soon it's going to be like a don't, its own like computer in the cloud. Right, more yeah. horsepower. Yeah, we think, we think about this. I mean, more than 400 instance types, more than 400 types of services out there in that range. And you think about all the potential interactions and applications. It's incredibly complex, right? Yeah, that decision matrix just went like this in my brain when yeah. you said that. That yeah. is. That is wild, and, and, and you know everyone wants to do more, faster, easier, but also with the comfort of that cost savings. Would you say that, in terms of your customers' priorities, I mean, you're talking to a lot of different people across a lot of different industries, Brad, both of you are, I'm sure. Is cost optimization the number one priority as we're going into 2023? Yeah, matter of fact, I have a chance to obviously speak with AWS leadership on a regular basis. Every single, they, they keep telling me for the past two months, every single CEO they're speaking to right now, it's the very first things out of their Ooh. mouth. It's yeah. top of mind for every major corporation right now. And I think the message is also the same. It's like, great, let's, let's help you do that. But at the same time, is it not a bad time to reinvest with some of those additional savings, right? And I think that's where the value of AWS comes into play. Yeah, and I think what you guys are demonstrating too also is another tell sign of this, what I call next gen cloud evolution, which is as the end to end messaging come and positioning expands, and as you see more solutions, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's face it, it's going to be more complex. Yeah. So the cat complexity will be abstracted away by new opportunities, like right. what you guys are doing, what you're enabling. So you're starting yep. to see kind of platforms emerging across the board, as well as more ISVs. So ISVs, people building software, yeah. you're starting to see now more symbiotic relationship right. for developers and part entrepreneurship. Yeah, so the uh, the complexity of the cloud is certainly uh, something that's not going to get any less as time goes on, right? And I think as companies realize that, they see it, they acknowledge it, and I think they're going to lean on partners to help them navigate those waters. And that's where I think the, the combination of AMD and, and CloudSaver, we can really par partner very well because I think both uh, we're both very passionate about creating customer value, and I think there's a tremendous number of ways that we can collaborate together to, to bring that to the customers. And you know it's interesting too, uh, you guys are both hitting on this is that this next partner channel, whatever you want to call it, is very joint engineering and development. It's not just relationships and right. selling, it's there's integration. And that and, and the new products that can come out is a phenomenon. Yeah. We're gonna watch, I think I predict that the ecosystem's gonna explode big time oh, in terms of value. Just yeah. new things, joint engineering, 
Um, it's so collaborative, too. Yeah, yeah it's going to be. Well, the big. innovation in the marketplace right now is absolutely on fire. I mean, it's, it's yeah. so exciting to see all the new technologies come on board, and to be able to see that kind of uh, permeate throughout the marketplace is something that's, that's, that's just really fun and exciting to be part of. Oh, when you think about the doom and gloom that we hear every day, and you look around right now, everybody's building, right? And, and yeah. this is this and smiling. It, and smiling, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, Today. <laughs> until Thursday when the legs start to get out. <laughs> yeah. Bit. Yeah. yeah, what recession? I mean, it's so crowded here. And again, this is the point that yeah. the Amazon is now a big player in this economy. In 2008, that last recession, they weren't a factor. Now you got belt tightening new solutions. Yeah. I think you're going to see, I think, more agility. I think Amazon and the ecosystem might propel us out of the recession faster. If you get the tailwind right, right. that might be a big thing we're watching. No, yeah, I yeah. Cl cl cloud computing is inevitable. Yeah, it's inevitable. Yeah, it's no longer a conversation; it's a commitment, no. and I think yeah. we we all certainly agree with that. So, Brad is versed in this challenge because we did it in our last segment. But Mark, we have a new trend on a, a new tradition, I should say, at Reinvent here, where we're looking for your your thirty second Instagram reel, your sizzle, your thought leadership hot take on the most important story or theme of the show this year. For the show as a whole, wow. I, well, I think innovation yes. <laughs> is is absolutely front and center today. I think I think some of the new technologies that we're seeing out there are absolutely phenomenal. I think they're they're taking the whole cloud computing to the next level, uh, and I think it's uh, it's it's going to have a dramatic impact on how people develop applications and, and run workloads in the in the cloud. Well done. What do you think, John? I think well you done. nailed it. Nailed it. Man. Yeah, you want to go for round two? Sure. Sure, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> so, so, uh, so get it, Brad. Yeah. So so when in when in public cloud, choice matters. It matters. Think about the instance types you use, think about the configurations you use, and think about the applications you're layering in there and why they're there, right? Optimize those environments, take advantage of all the tools you have. Yeah, it's a, you're going to start tuning your cloud now. I mean, as it That's gets it. bigger and better and stronger, you're going to start to see just fine tuning more, more craft, I guess. Yeah. In, in there, good stuff. Well, and in these interesting times, I'm not committed to calling it a recession yet. I'm, I still have a shard of hope. I think that the services and, and the value that you provide to your customers are going to be one of those pain killers that will survive through this. I mean, we're, you know, we're seeing a little bit of the trimming of the fat of extraneous spending in the tech sector as a whole, but I, I can't imagine folks not wanting to leverage AMD and Cloud Saver. It's exciting. Right. Yeah. It's, saving money never goes out of style, right? Yeah. <laughs> saving money is always sexy. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually really, that's a really, that's a great line. To close on. <laughs> Mark, thank you so much for being here and sharing your story with us. We really appreciate it. Brad, it's been a fabulous thing. You're just going to stay here all day, I'll right? just hang out. Yeah, all right. I'm it. yours. I love that. And thank you all for tuning in to us live here from the show floor at AWS reInvent in fabulous, sunny Las Vegas, Nevada. With John Furrier, I'm Savannah Peterson. You're watching theCUBE, the leader in high-tech coverage.